Hey, what's up? It's Brianna. So today we are going to be using the last palette out of my Hello Kitty X ColourPop Collection series review kind of little thing I've been doing, and that is Cherry Sweet, which is a pink palette. And keep in mind, I did have to do a little bit of eyeshadow surgery on this one because when I first opened up the pink palette, the shimmers kind of went right out of the pan, so I did press them. I used vodka because I didn't have alcohol, you know. I just used what I got. I didn't use flavor vodka because you don't want to use that because that's just going to be a bad situation. <laughs> so I just used like normal vodka because that's what I had in my freezer. But this is what it looks like. Again, you know, they're a little bit on the chunky side, but you know, I don't think they look bad. So, and I did swatch them and they acted fine. I just don't know how they act on the eyes yet. And also though, the shimmers are the only thing I had to press. I didn't have to repress them as, as you can see, they look pristine. And again, I have been doing a separate video on each of the palettes just because that's my style and I like to review them separately. So if you'd like to check out any of the other reviews I have done, and again, within all of the videos, I have used the whole collection. And I'll have those all linked in the description box down below for you. And if you'd like to see swatches comparing the glowing little lip balms as well as the pressed powder blushes, I included those in my pineapple cake video, the yellow palette. So I just primed my eyes off camera because you know I like to prime my eyes with a really good eye primer before I go in with my shadow. But the first shade I want to go in with is this yummy shade right here, the almost like neon coral in the palette. And honestly, it's the exact same color as the Aloha Honey Blush of this collection. Let me show you a close up. Do you see what I'm talking about though? They are literally the exact same thing. So if you've been a little bit apprehensive about Aloha Honey and you're like, I don't know if I'd wear a whole thing of it, you know, something like that. You know, if you've been looking at the palette too, you know, maybe get the palette, try out Yummy as a blush and see if you like it and if you do, get the full size. But I'm just going to be taking it on this brush from Luna Magic. I really like their brushes, but they don't have that many brushes at all. Like they think they just have like this little set that they did for BoxyCharm once and that was like it. And I'm really addicted to them because they're just so nice. But again, like this literally is the exact same thing as that blush. And I'm just going to pop it right in my crease. And then blend it upwards towards my brow. And today I'm going to be doing like a winged out crease. So I'm not going to round it out. I'm just going to make sure that I really work it into like this wing shape. And I also just did a second layer just to build it up a little. Because I mean, first layer, it does have like a little bit of pigment. But I like a lot more pigment with my shadows. So it seems like out of the palettes, you know, the yellow palette was the most pigmented and then this one as well as the other two have, you know, a little bit more of like a buildable formula. Now I'm going to do a third layer. You know, honestly, the shade's kind of like a third layer kind of shade. You know, you could do two layers, but the third just it makes it so much cooler. And now to define the grace a little bit more, I'm just going to go in with the other matte in here. And this one's called Soda Crush. And this is kind of like a fuchsia. That looks really bright. And I'm just going to be taking it on this brush from Morphe. This is an M507. Again, I'm just going to pop that baby in that crease. And then blend it up. Honestly... I gotta be honest with you, I don't think this palette screams cherry vibes to me. Like, this one's very, very pink. Like, when I think of cherries, I think of, like, red. Still a really cute color story. It's just, I'm surprised that they named it Cherry. I'm just gonna do a second layer, though, and then, again, work it up. The shade is very, very pink. And I'm also just gonna go back in with that brush that we apply Yummy with. Again, with nothing additional on it, and I'm just gonna kind of like feather out the edge a little bit. So I just did this winged out cut crease little situation off camera and now let's apply the shimmers to the lid and again I don't know if this is gonna work or not or like how they're gonna look because again I repressed these did a little bit of surgery action on them but I'm gonna first go in with the deeper shimmer I'm thinking maybe like a halo style would look really cool but I'm gonna be taking this on a little shader brush and I'm going to apply it dry first. You know, after repressing these, they're still pretty soft in the pan. Like, this formula is extremely soft. It just has, like, this, like, buttery texture to it. It did before, too, so that's kind of nice to know that it still has it. But that's probably why it broke. You know that or my mail carrier person. And I'm just going to pack it down in the outer third of my eye. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to do a second layer. So I'm just going to press it down. And when doing this kind of technique um, or style with the cut crease, I don't really care how far down I go because I can clean it up after I do my wing liner. So if it looks a little bit choppy right here, that's just how it goes. But yeah, like, it has a good amount of pigmentation to it. It's just, I don't know if I like that color or not. With the ones that we have in the crease, like, you know, part of me is like, why is this in this palette? Because it just, I don't know, it just doesn't really fit the vibe of it. And I'm just going to apply it now to the inner third. Yeah, and I'm just leaving that center blank. Yeah, I don't really like this color with the colors that we already have down. Like, it, it just seems really out of place. Again, it's a personal preference kind of thing, but... Yeah, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. We might have to do some, like, liner, you know, detail work or something, because you can see, like, the color just doesn't look right next to the shimmer. Like, the colors just look really off next to each other. But, you know, I'm going to go now in with the shade called Lemonade. This is kind of like a pink champagne. And I don't think it's because of how I press them or anything. I just don't like the color. Maybe we can kind of, like, finesse it with this shade, though. I'm just going to pop this right in the center. I mean, it's cute. It's just, I don't know. The other three palettes I really like the vibe of. And this one, like, it's cute when you look at it, but the color story just, I don't know, not my thing. I'm going to take my finger, though. Maybe that will make a difference. Again, it's probably not the formula that's acting up. It's probably because I had to press it. But, yeah, I like this shade way better. I don't know, like, you see what I mean, though? Like, in the crease, they're, like, these warm tone pinks. And then this is, like, a cool tone pink with a lot of purple in it, which doesn't really fit the corally vibe that we have in the crease. And also, the matte shade, the deepest one in here, this Soda Crush shade, doesn't get deep enough where you get definition. So... That's kind of the problem I'm having. You know, after getting, like, my foundation on, as well as, you know, like, putting some liner and lashes on, you know, this eye look actually is turning out pretty cute, and it's kind of growing on me. But for the lower lash line, I'm first going to go in with that Soda Crush shade, that bright pink. And I'm just going to take it on this tiny little shader brush from ColourPop. This is an E29. Super small. And I'm just going to run it as close as I can to where the lashes come out. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of Yummy on this shading brush from Lavish, and I'm just going to run it right underneath. I am going to smoke it down fairly far, too. And now for the inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go back in with Lemonade on this little pencil brush from ColourPop, and this is an E28. And I'm just going to pack it super heavy in that inner corner. Oh, I got an eye boogie, but... I mean, it's cute. I just wish it was like a little bit lighter, if you know what I mean, just to make it really pop. Still a really cute shade, and depending on your skin tone, I think this would make a really pretty highlighter too. So for blush today, I'm just going to go in with this one called Island Shine, and this is the more pinky one out of the two. I'm just going to take a tiny amount and press it on the cheek. You know, I'm kind of curious about how this one can build up, so I'm going to do a second layer. Since we have a pink look going on, I think it's going to really play up the pink in the eyes and on the lip. You know, that's actually a really cute color. It's definitely a very, like, wearable color, though. This blush, though, definitely has, like, a medium pigmentation to it. Like, it's not, like, super intense right away. Like, I mean, I have a lot on my brush. And it's very, you know, buildable. So you could easily use this for like everyday looks or like really glam looks or if you want to do something really avant-garde and like really get it super intense, you could definitely do that too. And lastly for the glowing lip balm, I'm just going to be going in with this one called Hello Fruity and this is the really bright pink one. And I swatched it on top of this Barbie collection uh, lip liner from ColourPop. Again, this one's in Dreamhouse and I really liked how it looked. So let's see if it looks good though, actually on the lips. That's really bright. I will warn you though, this one is like super bright by itself. 
But on top of like a mauve kind of like lip liner, I think it actually looks really cute. This turned out to be a cute little like monochromatic look and I put my bangs down and I don't know how I feel about it because I always see girls on TikTok wear their hair like this. I always think it looks really cute. But let's talk about the palette and I gotta say, you know, after doing the eye look without getting like my foundation and like liner and all of that on, I really wasn't the biggest fan of it. Because again, this matte shade right here, um, this one's called Soda Crush and Hibiscus, they're almost a little bit too similar in tone in my opinion. I wish that Soda Crush was just a tad deeper, just for a little bit more definition. Because again, it almost looked like everything was just like mushed together. If you're somebody that doesn't do really dramatic eye looks and you'd like just like a pop of shimmer on the lid with like a matte in the crease, you'll probably be okay with the matte in the shimmer situation in here. It's just with the tones, when you start doing like dramatic eye looks, they're just a little bit too close. But again though, like the formula of everything was really nice. Like the mattes in here were really easy to work with and blend out. They do have a little bit more of a buildable formula. You're looking about three-ish layers to get them to look like they do in the pan, which I don't personally think is bad. But if you don't like building up your shadows, you're probably not gonna like the ones in here because of it. But again, like they're really cute. And also the shimmers in here, they are very sparkly and they remind me of the Pineapple Cake palette. That one was a little bit more intense with the shimmers. And these ones definitely have a very similar vibe to those. Again though, I did do eyeshadow surgery on this, so just, you know, take it with a grain of salt about the shimmers. As for the other products, again, I thought they were really nice. This is my second time using the Island Shine Blush and I thought it was really good. Definitely has that more like medium buildable kind of formula to it and it's like a more like brighter wearable pink with a shade. Like if you're wanting something, you know, really fun for summer and you don't want something really intense, you're probably going to really like the color of this. And again, this blush is 100% matte. There's absolutely no shimmer in it at all, which I really prefer because I just like a matte look a little bit more than a dewy look. And this one is just, oh, the color is gorgeous. And lastly, the Glowing Lip Balm in Hello Fruity. I think it's a cute color. Honestly, I just don't really wear pink lipstick. I know some of you guys really enjoy pink, but I'm just more about like the mauves and the nudes and like really like taupey colors. And I just don't wear bright pinks that much. But I really actually like it with this um, Barbie Collection uh, lip liner from ColourPop. Again, this one's in Dreamhouse. It's kind of like a mauve color. And these two together I think are very beautiful. But I'm just saying this one by itself, Hello Fruity, is extremely bright. Like, I'll show you. Like, if you don't like bright lipsticks, you're probably not going to like how this one looks. Because, I mean, she's really bright and pretty pigmented. Again, it's not like a super intense pigmentation. It's definitely a medium. But still, she has a lot of color to her. To me, the only disadvantage of the glowing lip balms is that you have to buy them in a trio. You can't buy them individually. And if you're like me and you only wear like nudie kind of colors, you're going to get one bright one that you probably won't use all that much. So when it comes down to it, what I recommend these products to you, honestly, everything that we used today had a really nice formula to it and is really great quality. So let's just rank them real quick, but my first favorite out of the collection is Pineapple Cake, the yellow one. Seriously, this is the most unique palette I've seen in a hot minute. Like, it is just so fun, the formula's really good. And also, it's just a little bit different for an eyeshadow palette, especially for a quad. Like, if you're looking for something really fun, this one's totally worth checking out. And next, I would go with the blue palette. Again, this one's called Coco Cutie. I just thought it was a cute little vibe. I like the colors of it. Just overall, it's really fun, and I feel like you can do a lot with this one. In third place, I would put the Teeny Kini palette, the orange one. Again, the mattes in here are so beautiful and rich, but the shimmers in here, I just wish had a little bit more of like a wow factor to them. They're definitely a little bit more on the wearable side. Like if you like wearable shimmers that aren't like super intense, you will love these. But for me, I like really pizzazzy and sparkly ones. So these ones, I mean, they're cute. I just wish they had a little bit more punch to them. And in last place, I would put the Cherry Sweet palette. Again, it doesn't have a bad formula to it. I just like the other three palettes a little bit more. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this look. And also let me know what your favorite palette is out of this collection. Again, mine is Pineapple Cake. It is so cute and super unique. But before you go though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok, it's at Brianna Faye as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!